Hi everyone, it's me, Tim. Today I wanna to talk about why I hate cultural references. Now I almost said why I hate them in games, but I also hate them in TV shows and movies, pretty much any of my entertainment books. So let me talk about what I mean by the references and why I don't like them, even just not in games, and what my advice would be for you to do if you absolutely cannot bear not having a comment about something. So when I mean cultural references, I just don't mean you making reference to a song you like or a movie you like or a book. I'm talking about anything, anytime you reference anything cultural, a famous person, uh, a band, a movie, a book, a TV show, an event. Um, I know if you watched my video on why I left Fallout 2, I think Fallout 2 went overboard with these. They had an awful lot. And there's a link below about it. It's about eight minutes into that. I think I talk about why I thought it was too much. And there are people who go, but wait a minute, Fallout made references to cultural events. We did, but almost everything we had that was super obvious was put into a one of the random lucky special encounters. And that left the rest of the game feeling like, okay, it's it's more timeless. Um, like I said, I'm glad Fallout New Vegas hid all of that stuff behind a wild wasteland perk. So you could decide if you wanted it. So those of you who like it can get it. And those of you who don't, can, they just don't have to be there for you anymore. And the reason I don't like making cultural references is it suddenly roots your game in a particular time. Um, and I prefer games to be timeless. And by saying, by rooting, I mean, you've now locked your game into a particular point in time that only a particular audience will get. And in a few years, people will wonder, um, that's funny, that, I don't, I don't know who that actor is. Why, why are they making a big deal about this actor? Why, am I supposed to know who that politician is? Uh, what will happen is your game or your TV show or your movie or whatever basically starts to feel dated really quickly. Um, I know that when I watch TV shows, um, especially old TV shows, like things I was into in the 80s and 90s, when they had guest stars on, and I don't remember who those people are, I liked it when they didn't make a big deal about them. When they just had there's an actor on and uh, you kind of recognize them and you're like, oh, I think I know who that armored colonel is or, hey, that woman playing the doctor, wasn't she in some other movie I saw? But if they make a big deal about it, they're like, and tonight's guest star is Bob Smith. And you're like, I have no idea what Bob Smith is. Or one of the actors makes a reference to something like, blah, 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 look at me, I'm Bob, uh, I'm, you know, George Bush and Suddenly, everybody born <laughs> in the late 90s and later are like, "What? Why, why is that comment funny? Either they won't know who George Bush is, or they don't know which George Bush you're talking about, or they don't remember some event that your phrase referenced about what that George Bush did. It's just suddenly your show is dated, and it, and it will age quickly. As people say, age like milk. Um Part of it, um, part of my dislike of cultural references extends to this channel. Um, I don't just like having timeless games, but I kind of wanted this channel to be more timeless. Um, it's one of the reasons I've talked, I'm saying I'm not going to review games or whatever because games come and go. Um, I want to talk about game development, which is, and, and practices you should follow that will help. Uh, you make a good game. And talking about whatever the outrage of the week is, is not going to help. The, the uh, some, So some trailer came out that wasn't perfect or made you think the game was going to have a feature it didn't have. And now you're angry. Or maybe a game had a shocking cutscene in it. And you think everybody should be outraged at this. Or you want to talk about Sweet Baby or Brexit or wh whatever you think people are going to care about. They're not in a few years. Now, if you're younger than me, this is something I hate saying, but you're just going to have to trust me that 90% of the things that you think are important, you yourself aren't going to care about or even remember in 10 or 20 years. And and the 10% that you are, good luck telling right now 
which of those things, which are the 90% and which are the 10%. Because you're going to be pleasantly or unpleasantly surprised in a decade or two what things you thought were just so desperately important that you now think are stupid. So good luck on guessing those. I'd recommend you not try, or if you do try, don't do a public guess, which is you putting something into a game you're making so everybody can see it. And then hoping people still think it's important in a few years. Because seriously, forget years. No one's going to care ne next week or possibly even tomorrow. Things just change so fast. Um, I've tried to make videos here that something, if someone watches them next year or 10 years from now, they may go, oh, that's something I'm working on in my game. I'm going to try to follow. I'm going to try to make a loot table like that. Or I'm going to try to organize my code like that. Or I'm going to try to make load and save games like that. That will help you. If I start mentioning, oh, you know, remember that cutscene with the bear? They'll be like, I have no idea what this guy's talking about. So try to have the same goal for your game. Um, try to make something that even though you're making it now, people will still want to play it next year. And they'll understand it. And they'll get it. Um, now, there are a whole bunch of other things you should worry about about making a video game timeless or seem timeless that I'm not going to get into because it's not really my area, but I'll give you just to throw one out there so you know there are other things. Making games with super realistic artwork, the level of realism that we can do gets better and better every year. So if you try to be super realistic in a video game, really quickly your game will look old and dated. The the, the cutscenes, the the environments and all that will look really, really badly dated. If you don't believe me, go back and try some really realistic 90s games, especially the ones where they had actors record themselves in front of blue screens, in front of a virtual environment, and it just looks, it looks ridiculous. But back then, it was that was super realistic. So anyway, this isn't my specialty, so I'm not going to go into that. What I'm talking about is what you can do narratively to make sure that your game stays timeless and what i would recommend is you if you absolutely positively are not convinced and you must add a cultural reference i recommend that you follow the same rule that i use in my games for humor and that is add the reference in such a way that if the person reading or hearing or whatever however you put it in there if they don't get the reference they don't even notice that a reference was made. So that way they don't feel left out. They don't feel like suddenly they missed something, which by the way, they won't blame themselves. They'll blame your game. And that's the big problem with all this is if you give someone a reason to think that the game is doing something that's leaving them out, rather than feel left out, they just think your game is dumb and move on. And you can't explain, oh, you didn't get what I was saying. They're like, they're gone. You've already lost their attention. They're out of here. So the TLDW of this video is if you have to add a cultural reference to a person, an event, uh, anything, do it like I recommend humor being done and put it in a way that someone watching it who knows the reference will go, oh, there's another meaning here. And everyone else will just get whatever it is that that person is saying or that scene is showing, they'll get the surface part of it, they'll understand what they were supposed to get, and they'll move on. So if you do that, I think your games will last longer and be talked about longer than be as opposed to being the outrage of the week. So that's my recommendation on how to make a more timeless game. Hope it helps.